Hello everyone! Welcome to Let's Play Panzer Dragoon on the Sega Saturn. I am the Sheep of Sheep and Dane and uh, this is an awesome game. It's very fun. And this is probably what this is a rare thing this I'm doing right now. I'm doing this post commentary. I never do video sports commentary, but my Sega Saturn pad is horrible and I'm not particularly good at this game, so yeah. Anywho, plot! Thousands of years have passed inside once thriving human civilization. Paris and dust. Time goes by, passing their existence in fear of ever present shadow of cybergenetic warfare. The few remaining human beings struggle to regain the power that they have lost. With a desolate future, the people look to their past for a glint of hope. Excavations at an ancient tower have provided the people with a deadly arsenal. Now turned upon their foes, this power has created a strife amongst surrounding nations. All struggling, something, something, dark dragon, duh, okay, blue dragon, yeah. <laughs> this entire first part is a uh, completely plot, so if you aren't interested in that, just skip to part two. But yeah, as I was saying, this is the this is an LP I'm doing um, post commentary for a change, as opposed to actually doing it live. So the main reason for that is this game <laughs> is not easy. My satin pad is the clickiest thing you'll ever hear. I mean, seriously, it's like. I really need a new pad. We get one soon, so. But yeah, look at this glorious FMV sequence. I kid you not, it's not just your side that's pixely. This is the actual video. But, eh. It's a launch tile for the set, and I can't really complain about video quality on. In fact, I don't think FMV sequences were that good back, in this, back then, anyway, so. But yeah. Ah, uh, they don't know what language they're speaking. I think it's made up, actually. Like a mixture between Japanese, German, and f something else. Italian, maybe? I don't know. I could be completely wrong, but... Oh, shite! Cheers him! Cheers him for everlasting justice! <laughs> but yeah, this game is, um... One of the best serious Saturn games out there. It's one of the best... Sega games I've played as well. It's pretty amazing. If I do say so myself. Oh, just got on, sucker. What you got to say to that? Oh, another one. Let's chase him. Gotta take him out. Oh, ominous cave. Let's go in, shall we? <laughs> oh, look at look at this. The lighting effects. I find it really amazing that games' graphics have surpassed CGI from back in these days now. It's really, it's really amazing when you think about it. How what once was amazing is now pretty horrible, and what, in comparison to in-game graphics, is like, what? It's madness. But yes. Ah, uh, this is an awesome game. It's got an incredible soundtrack, I find. I don't... If any, well, I think everyone in their mother really comments about the soundtrack going, oh my god, it's brilliant, yay. But, one thing I will say, after about, after part three, actually part three might, eh, I'll be recording this. When I get to part three, things are going to be a bit slow in releasing the episode, sadly, because of, um, I have a slight issue with, oh shit. Oh, hell no. I have a slight issue with completing stage 5. I'm horrible at it. I just can't do it. The boss annihilates me. I just... Uh, don't worry though, every time I try this game I'll record it and if I can get past stage 5 then yay, the playthrough will continue past part 3. Your weapons are useless! All personnel, fall back. Cookie if you get what the reference was. Oh shit. <laughs> wow. Suddenly dragon. The hell? Why are they shooting at me? I'm not doing anything. Just stand here and another dragon. 
My god. I want a dragon. Imagine how awesome that could be. What's, what's this? Oh, Sanawa. No! I hope you love my voice acting here. <laughs> I'm just trying to keep this entertaining because this is a pretty long cutscene. This, this is the entire first part, just this one cutscene. Ah. Uh, but I. Basically, I had a choice between doing this and Earthworm Gym 2 as an LP. Believe it or not, I'm even worse at Earthworm Gym 2 than this, so I'm. <laughs> Uh, that won't be happening for a while, or at least until I get my new sound pad, because I, I think that's part of blame considering the B button sticks all the selling time. And the C button is kind of also sticky, and the A button's kind of off as well. And the L button doesn't work, okay, there's, there's a lot of things wrong with it. What can I say, it's not even a legit pad, it's one of those rubbish turbo pads that sort of do what they want. But, oh my god! Dude! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why not? Well, what'll happen if he goes to the tower? Okay, but what's gonna happen if he goes to the tower? I need this information, damn it! Oh, Oh my god, he's got a Chaos Emerald! Oh wait, no, never mind. Pretty sure blood isn't meant to be green. Huh. Ow, my ears! Alright, we got our gun, we got our dragon. It's time to go. On to an adventure? of an enormous magnitude to stop the dark dragon. Hope you guys join me as we do. Let's play Panzer Dragoon. I'll see you guys in part two where we start the journey officially. Sayonara.